this week I thought I'd give a little update on the garden. And um, as you can see right here, this gnome from Germany has had it. He's got his face in the soil. He's saying, no more snow. I'm ready for some sunny weather. But then take a look at the, the herb garden in the front yard, and it's still pretty covered in snow. We've got some things that are kind of smashed, some santalina and some thyme that's totally covered in snow. A couple of lavenders that are pretty broken up. I have to cut those back pretty hard. This was one of those lavender tutus from last week. It's starting to bounce back a little bit, but it's going to be misshapen, so I'll probably have to cut it back. Good news is one of the yuccas behind it, and you can see Dancing Buddha in the background, it's starting to bounce back. The yuccas in the front really aren't bouncing back so well, but this one's doing great. This is bright. This is Heuchera stainless steel. It's been under the snow. It's waiting to come out. Got lots of new leaves coming up under the pine needles. This is one of the new ones from the Primrose Path that we'll be introducing next year. I love the winter color on this. It's much more purple than it is in the growing season. Everything has just been waiting to come out from underneath the snow. You can see this is some hellebore flowers that should have been blooming weeks ago that are just now starting to unfurl because they were covered up from the weight of the snow. This is the Royal Heritage Series, and you can see one of my little tree peonies that's already starting to leaf out. I think it should hold off a little while, but that's what's happening. He's very excited that the spring is coming. It's amazing what has popped up just in the past few days. It's going to be 46 degrees today. It's one of the warmest days we've had so far. And this is Campanula Viking, one of the newest additions to the Plants Nouveau line. It's from Ari Bloom. And you can see that the foliage in the wintertime and when it first comes out in the spring is this wonderful wine red color. And this is a great Campanula because it doesn't spread. So great flowers. You can read more about it on the website. But interesting spring color. Here's my Hamamelis Primavera going strong. This thing just blooms and blooms and blooms and blooms and blooms. It has been blooming since mid-January, so it's gone on two months of blooming. And it's just the brightest yellow color. I think it's one of the brightest of all the new Hamamelis selections. The buds on my Rhododendron Austrinum are just ready to burst. In about uh, a month and a half, this will be a full color in this part of the garden with the wonderful fragrance of these plants. I cannot wait. Something I look forward to every year. Completely covered in buds. Very exciting. One great thing to report is none of the gazing balls were lost in the storm. Very exciting. I have them laying all over the place. These are some of my favorites. These are the bubble gazing balls, I call them but they look like bubbles laying on the ground. I thought for sure the weight of the snow and the dog jumping on top of them would have crushed them, but we were fortunate enough that everything is intact. No broken glass. Another new addition, Stochesia lavis elf, one of the, the smallest Stachysias I've ever seen. Uh, it was pretty much evergreen all winter, which was surprising. I don't think that's normal. I think the snow really insulated them and helped them to stay nice and cozy. But this guy is ready to go. He is just bursting out. This is one of my prized lavenders on the lavender walk, and it's, it's pretty smashed up. I think I'm going to have to cut them back at least halfway and let them rejuvenate. I'm sure they can handle it, but um, at least the crowns of the plants weren't damaged. Just the top branches were broken in half. And this is an update on the rhododendron prunifolium. Yeah, there's no sign of it left yet. We've got still about six inches of snow. It used to stand tall right there. 
And I hate to start digging for it, but I guess I'm going to have to to see if there's anything left of it. But how sad. This is where all the snow fell from the roof. You can see we have a pretty steep roof line going up. But, um, yeah, very sad. Such a pretty plant. I love the fact that this Fatsia is doing so well. It was under the snow. It's a fairly new plant, planted two years ago, and it's only about a foot tall when it's standing up. But it seemed to really love the snow. Very exciting for that plant. I have a bit of zonal denial. I love things, trying things that uh, I really shouldn't have in my garden. This is a cactus with the most wicked thorns. I don't know what the name of it is, but I would always be very afraid weeding around it that I was going to be impaled in the eyeball. It's not looking so great. It's practically white and all of its thorns have fallen off, so I have no hope that this one's going to be alive. But I'm very excited. I'm very excited about the Yucca linearifolia that I got from Holly Hill Farms. It's the first time I've had them in my garden. This is the second season. I have one that's two years old and these are in their second season. But um, they're not supposed to be hardier than Zone 7, which we had a pretty decent zone seven winter here and they look like they have just weathered the storm so well. I need to get all the leaves out from underneath them so that they can breathe, but other than that, they look excited. As you may be able to see, we really didn't get to clean up this year. It was absolutely pouring down rain most of the fall, so we couldn't get outside on the weekends. And then everything froze and we got snow right before Christmas, which is when we would have normally cleaned up all the containers and pulled the beans off the poles and all these wonderful things that we do every fall. We've got lots of cleanup to do. I can't wait until this weekend. I hope it doesn't snow and I hope it's nice and sunny. We can actually get outside and work in the garden. It's terribly muddy. But um, other than that, everything seems to be springing back to life here at Plants Nouveau Trial Garden.